That's right. Well, we've got Jeremiah from Southwood Kitchen and Tarrant from Victory Teaching Farm. And we are talking about something really cool that you guys have coming up. But first, I do want to talk about the recipe we're making this morning. Blackened shrimp and butternut squash crostini. Sounds delicious. Now, Taryn, I do want to talk about this really big farm raiser you have coming up. Yes, it's our fifth annual um, down to earth farm raiser at Victory Teaching Farm located in Midtown Mobile. Um, it's going to be Thursday, October 17th. And basically we have about 16 of the best chefs in Mobile and Baldwin County. Uh -huh. And they're paired with um, all uh, local farmers from Mobile and Baldwin County to create just deliciousness. Yes, farm to table, which we love love here on Studio 10. Um, kind of cuts out that middleman. So I do want to get started sure. on our recipe today. So I see we have a butternut squash, a lot of veggies this morning. We do. It's all, it's all vegetable based uh, with the exception of the goat cheese and ricotta. Uh, we'll start with a butternut squash, cut in half, scoop of seeds, uh -huh. peel them, dice them. We end up with this guy here. Beautiful. A little salt and pepper. Yeah. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And it smells so good. Oh, I think it may be the cheese mixed in there too. The smell is already amazing. It could be the squash. Uh, I do love the squash too. Right. Now we're going to put those in a pan, but Joe was yep. asking you earlier. I've never seen this before. These fl like floral. Uh, these are microgreens. Yeah. So there's like baby sorrel, baby watercress. Um, these are marigolds. Um, there's some little baby cabbages. Uh -huh. um, they give a nice decoration, nice little spiciness, a lot of flavor. Uh, and these are growing local as well. Awesome. Yeah, Joe asked if um, the flowers were edible. They are, but you don't suggest eating all nah, of them. No, I wouldn't eat the whole thing at once. You know, maybe a few petals. Yeah, here just there. a petal here and there. So what are we going to do next? So we're going to put our squash on a little pan here. Yep. 350, probably 15 minutes. Yes. They're done, so we'll go ahead and put these in the oven. So easy peasy while you're doing that. I do want to talk about Victory Teaching Farms and kind of if our friends at home haven't um, heard of you before, what you do, what, what's the goal? So we're a nonprofit urban teaching farm and we kind of have two sides to what we do. One side is education and we work with children and youth. We um, do monthly workshops for adults, just teaching about the importance and the benefits of um, local organically grown food. Mm -hmm. Then we also grow um, organic produce on the farm and we um, make that available to the community through different markets and things like that. We work with some local chefs and um, we also work with some local schools on that too. Wow, so really great for us here in the Gulf to have you guys. Great for our kiddos to learn at an early age how important it is farm to table, especially right here in the Gulf. So what will we be doing next with this yummy recipe? All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and make our pesto. Okay, oh, I love pesto. This is actually gonna be a mustard green pesto, so it's a little bit of a different variant than your basil. Right. Uh, and these are beautiful mustard greens grown at Victory Teaching Farm. Nice, fresh, peppery, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, the color's beautiful. So these guys are gonna go into a food processor. Yeah. Just now, do you add picture. most of these ingredients to make your pesto? Yep, we're going to add them all at once. Okay. So, we have those. A couple of fresh garlic cloves. Uh -huh. Just I take love these and smash them. Too. Yeah. Um, traditionally, pesto would be pine nuts. We use pecans. Okay. These are B&B &B pecans from Fairhope. You guys aren't kidding when you no, say we're local. No, we're local. I love Parmesan. that. Some more oil. A little bit of oil. Uh huh. A little salt and pepper. And that guy goes over here. All righty, so we will do that here in just a second. But real quick for our friends, one more time, who want to get involved with this really cool event that you guys have coming so, up. So tickets are on sale now, um, brownpapertickets.com, and um, you just search keyword farm raiser. That's right. Remember, Thursday, October 17th, and you guys will be coming on the show here in a couple of weeks, too, to promote that again. Really such a cool event going on right here in the Gulf. So make sure you go ahead and go get your tickets. We'll be right back. We're going to start making this pesto. I'm so excited about it. Joe, I know you're a big pesto fan, too. I'm so excited about this morning's cooking segment. We got Jeremiah Matthews here from Southwood Kitchen. We have Taryn Lanier here from Victory Teaching Farms. Great to see you both. Good We're talking about a big event, the Down to Earth Farm Raiser. Tarrant, when's that all coming up? Uh, Thursday, October 17th, mm -hmm. and um, we're real excited. We've got um, about 16 local chefs um, using all local produce from Mobile and County, Ball and County farmers, and um, we're real excited to have everybody back for our fifth year. Greer's is back again for our fifth year as our cream of the crop sponsor, and it's going to be a fabulous event. Man, such a great event. There you see the information on the screen. I'm excited because I love local and ingredients, whether it's the kind you grow or the kind you get out of the sea, and you're using uh, shrimp from BioLabatry, correct? Yeah, these are Dominic shrimp. They're all natural, uh, no preservatives. Uh, one of the best products I've found around here. Um, 
Yeah, good, they're fantastic. Good stuff. So let's, let's get, get this going here. So these are blackened shrimp. What did you use for your blackening seasoning? Uh, it's a house seasoning we make. Ah, uh, so a little... It's proprietary. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I understand. So tell us about um, your, your restaurant here. Uh, Southwood Kitchens, um, yeah, it's, it's farm to table. Uh, we do a lot of fresh fish. Uh, I deal with a lot of local farmers. Uh, we deal with Tarrant, Victory Teaching Farms. Um, you know, we just we, we try to keep it local as possible. And how long has Southwood been? It's in Daphne, correct? Yeah, we're in Daphne, uh, kind of catty corner from Terry Thompson. We've been open going on two years. Going on two, two years. years now. Southwood Kitchen, you got to go and check it out. What are some of the more popular dishes on your menu, would you say? Uh, we sell a lot of Wagyu. Um, mm. We sell a lot of fish, uh, whether it be grouper, snapper, tuna, um, triple tail right now. Wagyu ribeye? Uh, Terrace Major. It's actually a, a, a cut out of the shoulder. Look at you go. Very, very, very Look at you go with fancy pants and stuff. Go. Hey, and we've got microgreens and all sorts of natural produce here, too. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, so we got the microgreens here, a uh, little marigold. Um, there's some sorrel, there's some chervil, there's some cabbage, mm -hmm. uh, a little baby arugula here, and these are pea tendrils. Man, all looks so great. I cannot wait to try this dish out. We've got some squash, we got a crostini all coming together to make a fantastic, uh, flavorful uh, uh, dish here. Uh, Terrence, so for the folks who want to come out to the Down to Earth Farm Raiser on Thursday, October 17th, what do they need to know about tickets and how to get involved in all that sort of stuff? Um, tickets are on sale now at brown mm -hmm. brownpapertickets.com and they mm -hmm. just need to search Farm Raiser. And um, there will be, assuming we don't sell out online, there yeah. will be tickets at the door, but we've actually been selling tickets for well over several weeks now so um we're, we're looking at, a, I think, a sold-out event. Man, that would be great, a sold-out event. And what do you use the funds for? So the funds help support, this is our um, only major fundraiser, mm -hmm. and the, the funds help support um, our programming throughout mm -hmm. the year, our education programs, field trips, our workshops that we do for the community. All right, sounds good. Now, when you're cooking shrimp for the novices out there, it's pretty much a quick cook, right? Three minutes tops. Three minutes tops. You got to get that good sear going on both sides. That's what we're working on right now. When we come back, we're going to start to put this whole thing together. What are you going to do with this ricotta cheese here, uh, by the way? It's half ricotta, half goat cheese. We're going to whip it, a little bit Man. of chives, salt and pepper. Uh, and it's going to go on the crostini with the mustard green pesto, black and shrimp, and roasted butternut squash. I'm ready, man. It's going to be fantastic. I'm ready to eat. This boy is hungry. <laughs> going to do that later on Studio 10. Guys, thank you so much. Victory Teaching Farm, support them if you can. Let's check out on how the weather is looking, guys. Welcome back into the kitchen. I'm with Jeremiah and Taran, and we Tarrant. are Tarrant. I know I keep on <laughs> Tarrant. Sorry, I keep on wanting to add an extra syllable to that. But we are making this. Yeah, we're done with it now. But it, this is like perfect for a workday lunch. It's nice for a workday yeah. lunch. Um, easy, entertaining. You know, it's a quick appetizer if you got people coming over. Um, you know, you can do so many different variations on mm -hmm. this. You know, you can make it a sandwich. You could. 86 the bread and add pasta. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Right, so what have we done so far for our friends who are just now tuning in? So we've got, um, right here we've got our whipped ricotta mm -hmm. and goat cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper and chives. And it smells so good. And then here we've got our mustard green pesto. Uh -huh. which mustard greens come from Victory Teaching Farm. A uh, little French baguette, toasted, uh, cheese, pesto. Uh, we're gonna hit it with some of our blackened shrimp, a few of our microgreens. Okay, so we're gonna go and ahead and start squash. doing yeah, that. These shrimp are beautiful, by These the are way. Dominic shrimps at a Bayou the Battery. Uh huh. Um, he does. He he makes them with. Well, I should say freezes them with no tripoly, so there's no no preservatives. They're all natural. Mm -hmm. um, a lot better product than what you would find at, at most grocery stores and or some restaurants. And the way you decorate this, you know, a lot of us here, we like to entertain, especially when fall is around football season, holidays are coming up. The way that you decorate your food is just beautiful, but it really is so simple to do to do at home. It is. It's, it's very simple. It's all about colors. Yeah. You know, colors, uh, shapes, textures. Um, you don't have to get overly complicated with it to make it look nice. Right. So we add that and then also our flower petals, which it just really adds, um, pulls in that yellow from it does. the butternut squash too. It makes it pop. Yeah, it really does. So you are actually one of the first chefs that was involved in this farm raiser. I do want to talk about why you're a part of this every year. Um, well, it supports farming for one, um, and it gets young people into farming, mm -hmm. um, into learning how to eat well. Um, you know, it, it, it supports 
Tarrant and Victory Teaching Farm. It also helps support local farmers, gets them some exposure, um, and it's a lot of fun you know, yeah. for the chefs to come out and, and do something different. You know, you're not stuck in the restaurant every night. You can come and, and you know, you get to socialize with other chefs, uh, put out some great quality products, and kind of get to know your people. and eat good food. That's right. And Tara, you're excited because it keeps on growing every year. It does. We, um, this is our fifth year and the majority of our chefs are back for the fifth year. Uh, Greer's, who is our cream of the crop sponsor, is back for year five. And um, we've got about 16 local chefs now. We uh -huh. started with just a handful five, six maybe, and so, um, and then we have equal amount of farmers. We've got about 14, 16 farmers that, um, farmers of the land and farmers of the sea that are providing um, what the chefs need to create their dishes. That's right. Oh, yep, this piece is calling go. my name. And so, if someone, maybe this year, year or if you're packed full next year, wants to get involved, a farmer, a different chef, restaurant, how can they do so? So, they can always reach out to me, um, Tarrant Lanier. They can reach out to me through Facebook. Um, under Victory Teaching Farm um, and to, to be involved this year um, it, a little too late for chefs mm -hmm. not too late for farmers if there's any farmers who are interested in being a part of it it wouldn't be too late for that um, and then tickets are on sale right now um, brownpapertickets.com and just search farm raiser and that's right and we will have all those details at foxntv.com this is incredible fantastic so good so you do want to make sure that you are there supporting our local chefs our local farmers victory teaching farm this farm raiser is going to be awesome we love having it every year at the gulf coast so make sure you go ahead and get those tickets and we'll be right back with more studio 10 while i indulge this is so good oh, thank you